www.funsupermart.com Can you tell us a bit more about the investment objective and strategy of the Tread Needle Emerging Markets Corporate Bonds Fund? Y yes, I, I think on that fund, as the name would imply, it, it's really focused on corporate bonds in the emerging markets. And traditionally, em emerging markets has been mostly sovereign issuance, issuance by the country. But in increasingly now, as these economies mature, um, the capital markets will broaden. And that means a lot of corporate issuance. And in fact, close to $200 billion um, per annum in, in corporate bond issuance is what we see coming from the emerging markets. So it's one of the fastest growing markets globally. Um, they tend to provide income advantages over the underlying sovereign and also a lot more scope for diversification within the fund. And so I think you know, growth area often equals opportunities. And in this case, you know, some very good quality bonds available at very attractive spreads. So that's what we're trying to focus on in this fund. Given the fund's rather narrow investment focus, should investors be prepared for a riskier ride with this fund? Well, I think it, it, it's a fund that will invest in some slightly less liquid bonds. And so I think it is fair to say that you know, in, in, some, in some parts of the investment cycle, it might be a little bit more volatile. It's not what we would consider a high volatility fund. It's designed to be, again, diversified and, and relatively safe and, and focused on a lot of investment grade corporate bonds as well. So the average credit quality is not so low that we would expect it to come under severe stress. But I think whenever you're going into a slightly less liquid asset class, there is a trade-off. And that trade-off is more income, more return, but you do sacrifice a little bit of liquidity. In most periods, that may not matter much, but there will be a few periods where it's a slightly more bumpy ride. I, I, I think that is the case. Are there any investment ideas the fund is particularly positive on right now? Well, particularly in this um, period where global growth is being called into question, it, you know, for us it's not a time to stretch for yield and really buy some of the lowest quality and highest yielding bonds. And, and part of that is because some of the best value are actually in the rock solid large capital or large capitalization um, companies in some of the highest quality countries. And, and so Petrobras, um, for example, um, America Mobile, which is a large Mexican um, you know, telecom operator. Uh, these are some of our favorite I ideas, again, because they're high quality companies in well-established and stable emerging markets. They're not so geared to the economic slowdown. And we think they, you know, on top of that, give you a lot of additional yield. So I, I would say it's that kind of you know, higher quality um, company that, that tends to be well positioned for any kind of policy mistakes or global slowdown that we see the best risk adjusted returns in right now. On the other hand, are there any investment ideas the fund is not so keen to pursue? Well, we, we've seen a lot of corporate issuance um, in, in a lot of different regions and, and I think we, we have favored the Asian um, companies, we've favored Latin America companies, and we've also favored a lot of um, you know, companies that are actually from developed markets, but actually have a huge amount of their revenues perhaps coming from emerging markets. So you know, Telefonica is a Spanish telecom company, but you know, they actually derive a significant portion of their revenues from Latin America. That, that's what we like. What we don't like are those companies where we're, we're highly uncertain, I guess, about the economic climate. Um, we don't like companies perhaps where they have a lot of geographical concentration in their, um, in their business lines. And so Eastern European um, corporate bonds, I, I would say, are you know, still out of favor in, in this fund. And, and we think that we need some more resolution in the Eurozone crisis before we were to become much more aggressive in that space.